Greetings, fans and flamers. It is I, Cobra One, and once again, this is Fair Gaming. As you can see, we've decided to take a slight step back into the past for this one, with a game that you might actually recognize. Yeah, for once, I'm playing something that might be familiar. I was originally considering playing Ghosts and Goblins a little bit, but then I realized I suck at the game. So I decided to take on a something related to it. And what is that? Well, the title screen's about to come up with... Yes, Gargoyle's Quest. The old classic from the Game Boy original. Now, for those who might remember me playing the Eight Eyes team-up gaming currently, don't worry, we're still going to be finishing that. I just figured I'd take a tour through this while I had a moment, and maybe strike a few chords of nostalgia among you. That and it's been a while, and maybe you can watch me fail a couple times, and that's always worth a laugh, right? The King's been quad? Oh no! Finally, a direct order. Immediately. Oh, I think we can do that. Right, let's just take a quick peek at our stats. And as you see, we suck. But this is an RPG, so we'll be given time to suck less. Quite simple. You can breathe fire, being a gargoyle. I guess that makes sense. To destroy creatures jumping out of fire. And don't worry about this muck. You can actually land on it and it won't hurt you. You can also fly by tapping A a second time while in the air. As for that little bottle I collected, that's a vial. In this game, vials are money. So... Naturally, we like money. Money is good. Money makes everyone happy. So why shouldn't it make gargoyles happy, too? L, of course, responds to is for the number of life points you have. And W is the wing strength. That's how long we can fly. Now, if I needed help, I could grab that heart. But I don't, so I'm not going to try killing myself getting to it. Yeah, our flame is allegedly wimpy right now, but it does the job. Ooh, breakaway platforms. Staple of any required game, right? Away, flame. No one likes you. Uh, except the flames, I... Ne you know what? Never mind that. We like flame. Just not that flame. We're picky. That's right, we're snobbish about our fire. And yes, gargoyles have claws, so they are perfectly fine with... with grabbing onto ledges. And now we find, of course, the staple of any RPG, the boss. Which is a giant fish. Really, I can't say anything else about that. I was gonna say, we lost our fish. Fortunately, as required for the first boss, he's not that difficult. I mean, heck, that's not even a lethal pit. These are the guys that were very strong.
Ow. Okay, maybe I only have two health points, and maybe I shouldn't be ignoring that fact. But still. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that was easy. And now we open the dimensional portal. I just said that. And now we wander aimlessly, where random battles will plague us. It's an RPG, remember? Of sorts. But they do serve points. And to give points, for every one we win, we get more money. And as I said before, money is good. Okay, so it's not much money, but these are opening fights. What do you expect? Can't expect to get rich that quick. Or face actual difficult opponents just yet. And these guys don't like us. But all they are, are just more technically random battles that we've already seen. Don't worry, they get nastier. They wouldn't have it any other way. And they're worth more! So let's beat them up. If we can. Ooh, guys with shields! So what do we do? We have two choices. Hit him in the back, or hit him from above. Again, these are the guys we lost to. Yeah, yeah, we're not leaving here. Somehow, I don't think Firebrand agrees with you. My gargoyle doesn't like you. You made him angry. You wouldn't like the gargoyle when he's angry. Yeah, everyone has their different tone... uh... volume. Not that it really makes a difference, but it's just something to note. Okay, we've blown up more demons. And gotten more money. And there was nothing up there. Yay for wasted time! Uh... Ow. That was not fair. But fortunately, we had one extra life. Remember what I said about stuff being easy? Cancel that out. I forgot what these guys were like. Alright, so we have no more talismans, but we have plenty of vials. All we have to do is make it there. We'll survive. As long as we don't make any more stupid mistakes like that. All right, and town. Yay. And that would be what we use, so, of course. Are you insinuating something? And here we have... Resurrection spell. In short, your password. The 
words are never forget them? Wow, that's an easy spell to remember. Never forget them. I am reborn! Yay! A town of cowards. Jark. And yes, since we're RPG heroes, we get to rob everything not nailed down. Isn't it always the way that without... Without his stick, you know, he's just not happy. He just needs to have something... Okay, I'm gonna stop that now. <laughs> This, believe it or not, was a question, so in this case, we say yes. Yay! We agree to help, and we get a fingernail. Well, it says fly higher, but what it means is jump higher. And, yeah, they all make that sound. So, evidently, young gargoyles sound like... I don't know what to explain what they sound like. We just did, and he told us he can't help us worth a darn. Oh, this is the important thing! Now we can actually trade these, fr these vials for something more useful. Yeah, he says more than that would be greedy, but we're technically bad people. I mean, we're demons, after all. So, keep, just keep buying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's all we can afford. Yeah. Let's continue looting the town. Oh, we can't loot the town anymore. Damn cheapskates! Well, we only have black, gray, and- Oh, you mean the black light king, okay. Okay. So now we head out of town to continue searching. Okay, so we have to go east, and that means we have to cross a bridge. What's bad about that? Bridges in this game are evil. There is no such thing as a truly easy bridge. Fortunately, this is the first bridge, so it's survivable. Still not easy. All things considered. Oh, we're crossed. Yay for us! And yay! Something to steal! Ooh! Free extra life! Even better! Battle in the middle of nowhere! Not good! Well, we're about to hit the 15 minute mark, and since we're in the middle of nowhere, just after the bridge, I think that's a perfect time to pause, don't you? Alright, we'll be right back in a bit. 